Learning how to pressure can when you're just starting can be really scary and really nerve wracking. And sometimes it seems like there's more questions than there are answers on the right way to do things and the safety issues around pressure canning. After teaching tens of thousands of students how to pressure can, a lot of the same questions come up time after time. So today I'm going to be answering your top five questions about pressure canning. One question that I hear all the time is how much water should I put inside my pressure canner? Well, unlike water bath canning, where we want to make sure that your jar is completely submerged and covered by one to two inches of water, with pressure canning, it's important to make sure that the necks and lids of your jars are not covered with water at all when they're inside the canner. That means you wanna start by filling your pressure canner up with just a couple inches of water and then double check that level after you get your jars of food inside the canner, making sure that the water does not come up past the neck or the rim of your jar. If it does come up over it, just take a little bit of water out before you proceed with the next step of pressure canning. Question number two is how to vent your canner properly. All pressure canners have a vent, a steam vent in them. That's what this is over here. When you get your food into your jars and you get the jars into your pressure canner and you get it locked down, you're heating it up, steam will start to build up and pressure will start to build up inside the pressure canner. But at the very beginning, there's also just air inside that pressure canner, which we need to push out of the pressure canner in order to get a correct reading on our pressure. The way we do it is a really, really easy. We just let this steam without putting our weight on there for 10 minutes. And when I mean steam, I mean we wanna bring that to a full steam before we start our 10 minute timer. Once the 10 minute timer is up, you can go ahead and put your weight right on top of that vent to stop the steaming and start building up the pressure. This is an important step to make sure that your pressure gauge or your jiggler is actually reading the correct pressure that's inside the canner. So don't skip this step. Question number three is how can I be sure that my pressure canner doesn't blow up while I'm canning? This is a great question because it seems like everybody has a story somewhere in their family's history of somebody's pressure canner blowing up. Now the great news is, is that modern pressure canners have so many safety backups that they don't blow up anymore. You will want to make sure of two things. One, that you have a modern pressure canner that has safety valves in it that will pop out before you build up too much pressure in your pressure canner. The other thing you always wanna do before you can is to make sure that your vent pipe is completely clear of obstructions. Doing that is super easy. You just pick up your canner lid and you look through the vent pipe to make sure that you can see daylight on the other side. If you can't see it, that means there's something in there and you'll need to clean that out before you start canning. Question number four is how do I adjust for my elevation when I'm pressure canning? Now, this is really important and it's all based around the fact that water boils at a different temperature depending on your elevation. In order to make up for that lower temperature, if you live at higher elevations, then we need to do something in order to make sure the food inside our jars, inside our pressure canner, are coming all the way up to that 240 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit to make sure that they're safe to sit on the shelf for months and years at a time. Now, luckily with pressure canning, you don't have to add any additional time to make up for that elevation, but you do need to pay attention and add some more pressure. If you're working with a weighted gauge like this, you may have to add five pounds more pressure depending on your elevation. Some people have a dial gauge canner like this one where you're reading your pressure by a dial gauge. In that case, you'll wanna make sure that your dial gauge is tested every single year to make sure it's reading correctly, including right when it comes out of the box and is brand new. 
if you're using a dial pressure, you can adjust in smaller increments. However, some canners use what's called a weighted gauge. And for some canners that use a dial gauge, you can actually get weighted gauges to convert it to a weighted gauge canner. This is a real benefit if you don't live anywhere near a county extension office or you don't have a good testing facility near you because you never have to test these to be correct. They're just always right because they work on a basic physics principle. If you're using a weighted gauge, however, you can only adjust in increments of five pounds of pressure, which means you may have to jump up a little higher. Check out this chart here so that you can see what you need to be canning at every single time you pressure can according to your elevation. It's good to know that all canning recipes are written at for sea level to a thousand feet and that this conversion holds true no matter what you're pressure canning. So you'll just need to know this for everything that you pressure can at that elevation. And last of all, I'm often asked how long jars of pressure canned food are good for. Well, technically the food is good as long as you have a solid seal on your jars. Whether that's one year or 10 years, the food inside will be safe as long as you've safely canned it in the first place following an approved recipe. That said, the nutrition, the flavor, and sometimes the texture does start to decline and it's best to start cycling these out after about a year on your shelf so that you can have the best, most nutrient dense food possible on your shelf. Hey, one more question that I get asked all the time is if you can use your Instapot as a pressure canner. So check out this video to find out the answer.